Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. And today I'm going to talk to you about some things that I picked up from um, Family Dollar and Dollar Tree and Target. Um, you know, you always go out on a mission for one thing and you come back with a whole lot of other stuff that you didn't set out to do. So I'm not, I'm not going to do this in any uh, particular order. So I'll just start with what's in front of me and we'll just go from there. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is these. Now I got these from the Dollar Tree and I know that I, I'm, you know, I'm planning, I haven't, I haven't gotten a tree yet, but the tree that I'm planning on buying because of the price of the tree and where it's coming from, I know that um, it won't be as full. So I was trying to think of ways how to fill the tree out and I was trying to figure out how I can do it, you know, as cheap as possible. So I was thinking I was going to have to make something or something like that. I didn't know. So I found these. Um, they're gold and you guys know I don't like glitter. So these will probably end up getting uh, sp uh, spray painted another color or just highlight it with another color where you only see, you won't see as much um, glitter coming through because it's glitter all over the place already then I bought let's see if I can get this I bought these And I bought some of those uh, garlands from the Dollar Tree and I was going to put it on my fireplace. And I was trying to figure out how I was going to fill it in and beef it up a little bit. So I found these. These were also at the Dollar Tree. Um, they come in silver. And they come in gold. And they also come in red. Again, this glitter may not stay on here. Like I said, it's, it's, you know, it's flaking off. And I just, I really don't want to be bothered with it. Um, it's not as much actually yeah it's flaking off it's not as much as the other one but yeah so I got these I bought seven of them and that was all that they had that wasn't red and the red I think they only had like three left or something like that so then I bought um, like in no particular order and there are some things here that will not be Christmas related but I'm just sharing um, I got these uh, batteries, double A AA and triple A, because I do have some of the battery operated lights that I got from Dollar Tree. Then I got this selfie stick. I am going back to get more of these. These are great as stocking stuffers. They're very heavy. And someone bought me this, one of these as a gift. And I got to tell you, it got destroyed before I, even, I could even use it. Um... I have seen some videos where people complained about this rubber piece coming off, but my phone has a uh, rubber case on it, so I'm not worried about that coming off or the metal touching the phone because it's in a case. So if that's the op you know, something that you may worry about, you know, just keep the rubber case on your phone. And my phone is pretty big. This, you know, it's 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 pretty big. My phone is almost like the size of a Note. It's an LG phone. And then I have, sorry guys, <laughs> I picked up these um, for a the chandelier in my uh, kid's sitting room. And then I bought these because I'm going to do a little project with these. So I'm going to do a project with these and what I'm going to do is, and I saw somebody do this on YouTube, um, they had... The snow cones and these are the snow cones that I got from the Dollar Tree they were scented and they had a votive holder now the votive holders that they had were uh, the ones that come from the Dollar Tree and they already have like gold uh, designs and stuff on it like that well I had these these were some Dollar Tree candles and what I did was when it got low I just froze the candle wax and took it out and cleaned it so this will probably end up something like this and a votive will uh, the tea light will be in the inside of it so just something to put around the house I'm not gonna not gonna have a lot of stuff going on around the house so there's just a few things you know just to make it festive so we'll you know 
I'll just do that. So then I found these. Also to go on the tree. Again, I couldn't make these things, you know, if I tried for a dollar. You know, I just couldn't. These are berry branches and these are white. They also had um, silver. I bought all they had. This, These Dollar Trees, they get shipments on Tuesdays and Fridays. So they just got these. And that, that was like all they had. Um, I also picked up, and I've been watching a lot of Dollar Tree hauls. And I haven't seen anyone haul these yet. And the reason that I got the, I went there looking for the bigger ones that they had, which are gold, silver, they're gold and silver, but they're like, they have glitter and they have a shiny and then they have a matte. Um, but they didn't they they were just plain, you know, when I saw these, I, I just couldn't pass them up. They had two different kind that I bought. They only had six. So I bought all six, three of each. Um, so that's that one. They're beautiful. For a dollar? Those are pretty cool, I think. They're large enough. These were gonna go on the inside of the tree to kind of let you know some of the light sparkle on my tree. And then I have, like I said, no particular order, random, some random stuff. So my kids, I get these for them. I have a daughter and a son, one is 12, one is 11. So these are great for them. It's kind of like the Axe body sprays. And they love these things and they smell really, really good. And it's a dollar and your kids, you know, you don't invest a lot of money in something like that. So then I bought some rubber gloves. I always keep these around the house. Uh, I bought this body wash. I typically get this from my daughter, um, and they have uh, the the male version. They have I think suave for the guys, so I buy that from my son. Um, this smells really really good. It lathers very really well. She hasn't complained. She hasn't broken out or anything like that. And she's always I need more. So I like it. It leaves her skin soft, and it's. It's not testing on any animals or anything like that. So I think it's a a, a great uh, item, actually. So that's that. And then mouthwash for my son's bathroom. And then I bought this fabric softener. Love it. Um, it's less than what you would pay for downy and it smells just as good and it works just as good uh, I probably would never uh, use downy again um, you know since I've been using that so then I bought also these these came from Dollar Tree as well these are garland and bulbs my son and daughter has those um, they have the trees that came from the dollar store, those little miniature trees, they're a dollar. So um, I think we showed you in another tutorial where we built a box uh, a, for the base of the tree so it sits in there so it doesn't look all cheapy and stuff like that. So we're, these are for my daughter, this color. And for my son, I got him uh, red. So he has one on his dresser as well. Um, you will probably see those in another video, how they came together. And then I got these bells. And I'm going to show you towards the end of the video how I, um, what I'm going to use these on. Or, uh, just give you a sneak peek of something that's going to come up in other videos. So then I bought... There is a, a young lady, the Frugonista which I uh, tend to watch her videos and she does a lot of Dollar Tree hauls and um, visits Walmart and things like that. So she buys this item from the Dollar Tree for her kids. And these are piece of crust. And what happens is that she, I, uh, 
she puts cheese and stuff on there so she buys a pepperoni from the Dollar Tree as well but we don't eat pork so we don't buy the, that pepperoni so I did get these for the kids and I use I've used it already um, once and the kids made them yesterday and they they're easy to make and they can do it by themselves that's the great part about it um, then I just got some cheese from Target and then I bought this pepperoni, the turkey pepperoni from Target as well. And then I picked up some more coffee filters. Actually, these are on sale for $1.50 now. Um, I got these. I'm probably going to do another wreath for my uh, sister as a gift. I haven't decided yet. And then I got this sauce also from, the, um, from Target. And it's BPA-free can. It's corn syrup free, gluten free, and preservative free, and it was 99 cents. And this is enough sauce, you know, to cover their pizza and stuff like that to get them going with that. Um, now, back dollar, Family Dollar. And if you guys didn't know, Family Dollar is a sister store to Dollar Tree. So I got this ribbon. This is, it was $1 at Dollar Tree. It's mesh ribbon, and it was. It's five inches wide and it's seven feet long. So a little over two yards. Then I got this one. It's a glitter burlap and this is five feet long. So you can see the, there's little specks of glitter in there. And the mesh one, if you can see that. Okay. So then I got, this is another one that's glitter burlap. Yeah, this one is five feet as well. And it's just a more golder. It's a little bit gold, more gold than this. Like that one's more natural. You see the difference in the color. Then, okay, and I bought two of each of those. And then, uh, last but not least, I went to pick up some of my, some spray paints from, um, Walmart, but it was a couple of days ago. It wasn't today. And then just some um, paint that I'm going to do some other projects with. Okay. Now, to get back to these, what I'm going to do, and I haven't decided exactly what they're going to go on or how I'm going to attach them, but we've been making like a homemade ornaments, and this is just a sneak peek of some of the ornaments that we've been working on. So, then we have these. This is just some of that twine that comes from the Dollar Tree to three in the pack and a piece of ribbon. And this is an old light bulb um, that I showed you. Oh, also, I picked up this. It's a giant uh, paper clip and a clothespin memo holder. That's what it is. And I saw a video... Uh, which I'm probably going to DIY it too. What they did was um, they used the smaller clothespins and glued it on. And what they made out of it was a uh, holder for your phone. So if you're sitting the phone on a table or something like that, they made a holder for it. You know, maybe you're propping your phone up and it slides or something like that. You watch the movie. So this is a great idea. This is a dollar. I'm probably going to get more of these also just to put uh, in a um, couple of stockings. Then, oh, okay, this is another stocking that we made, the reindeer. And as you can see, the fairy has like kind of iridescence quality to it. Then I made this one, bird. I like, you know, kind of the rough edges on it because I wanted a more natural, that's glue though, kind of a more natural rustic kind of feel to it. So, and this is some of that uh, faux suede um, string that I showed you guys that I got from Target and I think these were uh, 10 cents for the roll. Um, then we also made, well, there's a star that we made. And this is some of that scrap fabric that I told you guys I got from that, um, zero landfill where they give away free uh fabric and samples and things like that twice a year uh from companies that get rid of uh fabric and fabric samples and things like that because they change over their uh 
inventory every season so if you go in the fall you'll get what they had in the spring if you go in the spring you'll get what they had in the fall the season before so this is also another one that we made and then I have this one so this is just some of the things that we're working on and also I'll give you guys a tutorial on these and how we how we made them put them together this is uh, another one that we made and this is real fur then um, again this is some of that fabric that I got um, and it has a leather uh, backing on it or suede like backing on it and then this is more of that fabric and I'll show you guys what I stuffed it with and all that kind of stuff and then this is also from a um, a bracelet that I that came apart so just to give you guys a sneak peek of what's coming up in some of my future videos leave me a comment thumbs up if you like the video also, you know, uh, let me know you were here. Subscribe to my channel. You know, let me know you're here so I can come and visit you on your channel and see what you're doing and share uh, ideas with, you can share ideas with each other. So again, thanks you guys. Have a great day and God bless.